Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in our previous video we looked at a website called Goblin Tools and it's at goblin.tools and we looked at the to-do list and the formalizer and the judge. A really cool website which takes your tasks that you need to do or some text and judges it and uses the AI to give you some feedback or give you some estimates of what you can do. So we can look at the next three tools available in Goblin Tools and that's the estimator, compiler and chef. So let's start with the estimator. So over here you can write in a task of what you want to do and it will estimate how long it will take you. So I've written in a task. We want to do a debating festival for 20 schools over two days and I want to get an estimate of how long this will probably take me. So I'm going to click on estimate and it will give me an idea of how long it'll take me to probably prepare that. You can also specify how hard that task is. Maybe you think it's really difficult and if we estimate that it might adapt its particular value for it. Not the most dynamic set of information, but it might be something if you are someone that struggles to estimate time, just to get an idea of what it could be. But let's go look at the compiler. The compiler is quite a nice little tool where you can add a brain dump. In other words, you just type away and you just express your feelings. You type in what you, what's on your mind and you can turn what you are concerned about into tasks. Let's say I wrote, I don't know where to start for my child's birthday party. And you give the details of what, what your child likes. She loves animals and outdoors. And you want like a morning brunch vibe. And you just brain dump your ideas and just express yourself as you normally would. And let's see if it can generate tasks based on this brain dump. And so there, it broke it down into individual tasks. And if you like those tasks, you can actually send these results to the magic to-do list, which is this one over here. If I click on that, and there it's put our task. So it's combining the compiler with the to-do list, which we did in our previous video, where we can now start going and breaking down that particular task into individual tasks, which you can edit and you can add subtasks and you can, you can even estimate how long those tasks will take. So the compiler is a very simple tool for that. Let's go look at the chef. And so this one is very out of the ordinary considering the rest, but it's basically if you want a meal, uh, what are you going to have for lunch? For example, you write down your ingredients, you write in your dietary constraints, your serving size, your equipment, and anything else you want, and it's going to suggest things for you. So I gave the chef my items that I've got. I included a couple of the equipment, like the slow cooker, oven, air fryer. I gave it a whole bunch of options, like spaghetti and rice. Let's see if, if it gives us both options or just one. And I said I need a meal for two people that can be done in 30 to 45 minutes. So let's see what it suggests. Obviously, it's going to be using artificial intelligence, but let's see what it does. And there we go. It gives us a recipe. It tells me exactly the size, uh, what I am using. You'll notice that I don't think it actually used the rice, even though I did have rice in my list. So it only picks the items that would be necessary for that particular recipe. And then it tells me the instructions of what to do. So it actually gives me a nice little recipe that I can use that I can copy and then paste it into a Word document or send it in an, an email to myself. Or you can send the results to the magic to do where you can put that on your to do list. But a real cool little web feature here, to, if you are struggling to think of an idea of a recipe, then go try this out. And if you do, let me know what it tastes like. Hopefully you have a good meal. There we go. That's Goblin Tools. Goblin.tools is an AI website. It's free to use. You don't need an account. And you can just have it running in the background and just doing your to-do list. You can have it give you ideas for meals and just help you with your language. A really useful website to have saved so that you can always come back to it if you ever need to use an artificial intelligence. So go check out Goblin.tools. If you missed the first video, make sure you go check it out at our Teacher Tips channel at Mr. Long Teacher Tips. Make sure you click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on other websites that we talk about here. And share us with your friends so we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.